But we're being joined now by the managing director at Afri Invest Securities, Ayodeji Ebo, to talk more about all these uh, latest developments. Good morning, Mr. Ebo. Thanks for joining us on the program. So the CBN has announced the latest adjustment to importers at an auction on Friday, and that's just some days after it assured investors of plans to harmonize the multiple exchange rates. Does this move, uh, does this uh, action move the needle closer to the desired level of transparency in the currency management system that the foreign investors actually actually want to see? Yes, um, thanks and um, for this valid question. Uh, I, I, we feel that, uh, yes, it's taking the right step. As you are aware, we have a, a several segments of, this, of the FX market. So um, moving towards, we are trying to see CBN governor has said that it's going to unify the exchange, the several exchange rates towards the uh, IRNE window. And what we saw at the IRNE window yesterday was there's also there was form of a depreciation to around 388 um, Naira to a dollar. Um, the movement uh, at the uh, secondary market window, that's the wet weekly CBN intervention. Uh, yes, that is uh, a good move, but we feel that beyond that, uh, the liquidity is also very key. At the I and E window, we saw the um, when you check the um, activity yesterday was just around um, ten million um, dollars. Um, last week, what we saw there was significant volume, but was majorly most of the multinationals that were trying to fund FX obligation for some of their subsidiaries that um, made um, that um, made uh, the activity spike significantly. So there's still there's still a lot that needs to be done especially for foreign investors that, um, that came in based on the fact that there will be liquidity of the, of, the, uh, of the dollar. So, but now a lot of them are currently being trapped. How much of confidence does this development bring back to the currency management system and how does that uh, firm up the local currency against further devaluations? Yes, I think it is still a, a scratch um, on the surface. It's um, taking that step was very positive, but we need to, um, the CBN needs to move faster to see, to intervene in the market. The high and new window, uh, what we're still likely seeing there is more of customer transactions and there's a lot of pent up demand based on um, analysis and reports about. Um, $5 billion, which is still very significant. Uh, so a lot of foreign investors have not been able to repatriate their funds. And for most foreign investors, the signal we are sending uh, is that the uh, market is not liquid. You are aware of the uh, recently published report by the MSCI um, uh, uh, company on trying to put Nigeria as a standalone which would also have its implication on our equities and fixed income markets. So I, I, it's, this is still um, just uh, um, scratching the surface. It's, it's providing confidence, yes, uh, but there's still a long way to go. We need to act fast so that we would not also um, uh, distract uh, for some of the potential investors that we're supposed to see um, come in to help reduce the pressure on the CBN when the economy improves. We don't send that negative signal to them. Perhaps that's why the IMF has been asking Nigeria to merge the multiple rates in order to attract uh, foreign inflows. Now, how do you actually think that uh, the multilateral body would react to this latest development? Yes, I think for them, they would see this as a step and they would be um, watching to see that um, they, we, um, this process that has started is eventually stabilized. And you know, one thing that the unification will also do is it, it will reduce arbitrage opportunity and, 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 and round tripping. You would see, if you notice between the parallel market, which is the unofficial market, from, uh, as you compare the rates in 2018-2019 to the IRE window, it was the margin was really very slim that there was no incentive for people to go through the unofficial market. And if, even if there's no liquidity in the ironing window, we still see people can still um, patronize the parallel market and still get transactions done. 
out. But once you have that disparity, as at yeah, yesterday or in the last few days, the parallel market has, um, has stayed around 461. You can imagine that margin, 461, compared to the 380, um, the CBN rate, and 388 at the I&A window. So once that those disparities, sometimes for business transactions, when you are trying to also negotiate, you are wondering, you are trying to confirm which of these rates which should you use for your transaction. Though most investors are tilted towards the use of the I and E um, window ex exchange rates, but uh, we feel that the uh, the World Bank, the IMF, would also just continue to persuade the CBN now that they are holding back on the disbursement from the World um, disbursement of the 1.5 billion dollars to World Bank. I feel that we may also act faster based on that because we also need that inflow to help us show up uh, our results because of the pent up demand. And once also economy also improves, schools resumes, you know that uh, there would also be significant demand for the greenback. Now, what does this change for the banks, considering Moody's investors' uh, recent comments on Nigerian banks that the current low oil prices and uh, the coronavirus pandemic are threats of renewed foreign currency liquidity pressures on Nigerian banks? Yes, I, I think for, for the banks, uh, what from beyond the FX challenges that they may have, we've been seeing uh, uh, notifications regarding the minimum um, or the maximum amount that you can spend on your dollar cards. So, and that would be affecting businesses uh, before people could use their Naira card to even to, to, um, to execute transactions online. But once that is limited, then it also limits um, business activities. You are aware that the informal sector um, account for a significant part of, our, of Nigeria's GDP and the activity. So that would impact that the business, but the, the banks, the major um, uh, 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 major downside uh, that they are suffering from now is the continuous um, debit for CRR, which is taking a major part of the funds that they can use to generate income uh, and uh, to generate income is being kept with the CBN. Since the adjustments, Mr. Ebo, what have you been learning about other exchange rates windows? That's talking about the NAFEX spot market and rates at the Bureau de Change dealers. I think uh, we would, would as, as this is, uh, CBN has taken a step last week. We expect that very soon they should see how they want to create, they should be after the liquidity. That people can buy whatever amount of dollar that they require and for those that also want to sell. So um, at the BBC segment, at the um, CBN segment, I and E window segment, liquidity is what we feel is key. Uh, if, when you check the average um, activity uh, at the I and E window, even as that between the first three or four months was an average of about $300 million uh, per month. But what we currently have, if you check April, May, it's gone down to a, an average of about $20, billion, uh, $20 million, which is significantly low. Most of the transactions that you see there are most um, are negotiated and it's based on um, customer transactions. So for the foreign investors, especially for those that have not been upon into features to hedge, and you know it's a non-deliverable forward that uh, it's not deliverable forward that uh, most of them bought. So CBN has seen them the naira difference of our maturity. Now getting the dollars is is what is the major concern for most of the foreign investors. So uh, by and large, it, uh, which the focus now should be on providing liquidity. I know the CBN is constrained based on the current level of the dollars, uh, still at about thirty-six billion dollars. But we have the opinion that if there is confidence, even at $31 billion at $30 billion. Once there's activity, uh, we would, the pressure would, would be taken away from the city. And we've seen that before. 2000, um, between 2018 and 2019, there was a time that the CBN was actually even buying dollars from the high and in window because of the um, significant inflow that our market and the window was experiencing. So we believe that we can also get to that level again once there's confidence.
Uh, will there be any major impact that this latest adjustment would have on the uh, derivatives markets of the FMDQ exchange, the forwards markets, and the futures markets? Yes, interesting. Uh, what we would, would see, we would see when you switch the forward uh, uh, rate, you would see that for most of them are significantly above 400 um, naira to a dollar. So we would expect that as we progress uh, for the new contracts that would also be issued, we, we may begin to see some form of convergence, uh, um, some form of convergence to the high and E window. That's what I think we would expect. But uh, the, you know, the, the challenge, the downside risk that continues to um, parade the uh, futures market is, is non-deliverable forward. So you are only paid the Naira difference. If, it's, um, if, it's, uh, if you are out of the money, you are paid that difference, then you are expected to sort for the dollars if you are interested in repatriating at that, at that, at that moment. So now the major challenge now is even if I get my Naira, how do I get the dollars? So now it's amplifying the risk of just even just using the um, features market to hedge because you can eventually get that Naira and not have access to the dollars. Managing Director at Afri Invest Securities, Mr. Adeji <laughs> Ebo, thanks for speaking with us on Business Morning.